Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Howie Mandel. Howard Michael Mandel is a Canadian comedian, actor, television host, and voice actor. He is well known as host of the NBC game show Deal or No Deal, as well as the show's daytime and Canadian English counterparts. Before his career as a game show host, Mandel was best known for his role as Rowdy Err in turn Dr. Wayne Fikis on the NBC medical drama St. Elsewhere. He is also well known for being the creator and star of the children's cartoon Bobby's World. Mandel became a judge on NBC's America's Got Talent, replacing David Hasselhoff. In the fifth season of the reality talent contest, Mandel has mysophobia to the point that he does not shake hands with anyone, including contestants on Deal or No Deal unless he is wearing latex gloves. To that end, he prefers to do fist bumps instead. Early Life Mandel was born and lived in the Willowdale area of Toronto, Ontario. Mandel is Jewish and a distant cousin to violinist Itzhak Perlman. His father was a lighting manufacturer and a real estate agent. After getting expelled from his high school for impersonating a member of the school board and signing a construction contract to make an addition to his school, Mandel became a carpet salesman who would later open a carpet sales business of his own. He was a stand-up comedian at Yuck Yucks in Toronto and, by September 1978, had a week-long booking as featured act billed as a wild and crazy borderline psychotic. His repertoire included placing a latex glove over his head and inflating it by blowing through his nose, the fingers of the glove extending above his head like a coxcomb. When the audience reacted uproariously to that and similar antics, his trademark response was to extend his arms palms up, look incredulous, and say, it's you, on a trip to Los Angeles. Mandel performed a set at the Comedy Store, which resulted in his becoming a regular performer there. A producer for the comedic game show Make Me Laugh saw him and booked Mandel for several appearances. During the show's run in 1979, he was booked to open for David Letterman at shows in the summer of 1979. CBC TV's head of variety programming saw his performance in October 1979 and immediately signed him for a TV special. In 1980, he won the lead role in the Canadian movie Gas co-starring Susan Anspach and Donald Sutherland. Mandel was one of the first VJs to appear on Nickelodeon's music video series, Pop Clips. TV and film career Mandel came to national attention in the US during a six-year run on St. Elsewhere. Starting in 1982 and playing the role of Dr. Wayne Fikers, opposite the late Ed Flanders and Norman Lloyd, with whom he remains good friends as of 2015. While working as Dr. Fikers and continuing to work as a comedian, he also did movies, including his role as the voice of Gizmo in the 1984 hit Gremlins and its 1990 sequel Gremlins 2, The New Batch. In 1985, Mandel made a cameo in the Michael J. Fox-directed short, The Iceman Hummoth, which was subsequently broadcast on Late Night with David Letterman in November 1985. In 1986, he starred in A Fine Mess alongside Ted Danson. He performed his stand-up comedy act in several cities, which was followed by his Watuzi music video in 1987. For the first two seasons of Muppet Babies, he voiced Bunsen Honeydew, Animal, and Skeeter. He starred on the 1987 comedy film Walk Like a Man. He was also Morris in the 1989 movie Little Monsters. In 1990, he starred in the short-lived sitcom Good Grief on Fox, 
He was also the creator and executive producer of the Emmy-nominated children's animated series Bobby's World, to which he supplied the voices of the title character and his father. Bobby's World ran for eight seasons on Fox and was later syndicated. Mandel also plays his alter ego, Phil Skordank, in most of his comedy shows and these are a fan favorite. Bobby also made a cameo appearance in a February 2007 episode of Deal or No Deal. On a special two-hour Christmas episode, first aired on December 25, 2007, Mandel delivered one line with Bobby's voice, as per request of the contestant. In 1994, Mandel voiced the lead character, Little Howie, of the video game Tuneland. He starred in the sketch comedy series Howie Mandel's Sunny Skies in 1995 on Showtime. Mandel appeared in the 1995 Clint Black country music video, Summer's Comin'. He played the lead role of the professor in the short-lived TV series The Amazing Live Sea Monkeys, and guest starred on a 1996 episode of the ABC TV series Lois and Clark, The New Adventures of Superman as DC Comics supervillain Mr. Muffspalk. In 1998, he hosted his own syndicated talk show, The Howie Mandel Show, which was cancelled after one season. In 1999-2000, Mandel played Jason in the film Apocalypse 3, Tribulation, and in 2002 played the Sandman in the movie Hansel and Gretel. In 2006, he appeared as himself as a guest host in a parody of Deal or No Deal in the show within a show of the TV series Studio 60 on the Sunset Strip. In 2007, he guest starred as himself in an episode of NBC's Medium, making a dream cameo of himself on Deal or No Deal. In that episode, he booted off the nighttime drama's protagonist for cheating. Since in the show he is a psychic medium and appeared to know the contents of the cases, Mandel's signature stunt as a stand-up comedian was stretching a latex glove over his head and inflating it with his nostrils, filling it until it suddenly propelled itself off his head. This trick also lent itself to the title and cover photo of his comedy album, Fits Like a Glove. He eventually gave up the routine under doctor's orders after being diagnosed with a perforated sinus. However, in a cameo role as himself on My Name is Earl, he did the routine. He guest starred in two episodes of Monk. Mandel made a guest performance in the Eric Andre show where he walks in. And Eric Andre questioned him by naming him George Zimmerman, which made the audience laugh. Later work Mandel is known for his frequent appearances as a comedian and for his hidden camera segments on The Tonight Show with Jay Leno. He has appeared in many television commercials for Boston Pizza as the hired spokesperson. In April 2004, he was selected as number 82 on Comedy Central's list of the 100 greatest stand-up comedians of all time. In October 2005, he was named to be the host of the U.S. version of Deal or No Deal which debuted on December 19, 2005, on NBC and became a popular program in early 2006. Mandel also hosts Deal or No Deal Canada, originating from Toronto. Deal or No Deal Canada debuted in January 2007 on Global, which made him one of the few game show hosts to host both a domestic and an international version of the same game show. Mandel joins Alex Trebek, Jim Perry, and Jeff Edwards on the list of game show hosts who emceed one game show simultaneously in Canada and the United States. In 2007, Mandel made an appearance in an episode of Sesame Street's 38th season. That same year, he was parodied on the show as How He Eats Well, the Muppet host of Sesame's game show segment, Meal. 
or No Meal. Mandel has hosted the DVD game version of Deal or No Deal, Factor Crap Beat Da Bomb, and Would You Rather for Imagination Games. Mandel had a cameo appearance as himself on the NBC show My Name is Earl. In the episode Earl's roommates robbed an Indian casino at which Mandel was performing. While stealing money, they also kidnapped Mandel. In the episode, Mandel performed his old routine of inflating a rubber glove over his head with his nostrils. Mandel is a notable alumnus of Beth David Benai Israel Beth AM's Hebrew School located in Toronto, as well as three other Toronto high schools. Mandel is currently performing a variety comedy act at the MGM Grand Hotel Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada. Starting in 2007, Mandel became a spokesperson for Internet Retailer by .com. He is sometimes featured in a section called What's Shaken with Mandel. On May 13, 2008, he was the guest host for the Tradition May fundraiser for the Owen Hart Foundation. On September 8, 2008, Mandel began hosting a five-day-a-week syndicated daytime version of Deal or No Deal, with a top prize of $500,000. On January 8, 2009, Mandel appeared on Howard Stern's satellite radio show on Sirius XM's Howard 100. On January 9, 2009, Mandel's reality show How We Do It premiered on NBC. On May 13, 2010, Mandel appeared on an episode of The Marriage Ref. On March 31, 2011, Mandel premiered a flash mob show on Fox called Mobbed, originally a presentation pilot. The ratings after American Idol prompted Fox to pick up the show for 8 to 10 episodes. He participated in a live-action, animated interview on Take Two with Phineas and Ferb. On October 18, 2012, Mandel had a cameo appearance as himself in CBS's The Big Bang Theory. On November 30, 2012, he hosted the NASCAR Sprint Cup Award Ceremony. On December 10, 2012, his six-night special game show, Take It All, premiered. Since 2013, Mandel has executive produced the TBS hidden camera show Deal With It. He also regularly makes appearances and co-hosts the show along with main host Theo Vaughn. On November 9, 2014, along with former St. Elsewhere co-stars, Ed Begley Jr., David Morse, and Stephen First, Mandel attended the 100th birthday of their acting mentor and decades-long friend, Norman Lloyd, in Los Angeles, California. Upon celebrating Lloyd's centenarian birthday, Mandel said, I love Norman Lloyd. He is a legend. I have spent hours like a little kid while he regaled us with stories of Hitchcock. He teaches. He entertains. He is a legend. On September 3, 2015, Mandel hosted the 100th episode of True TVS Impractical Jokers Live Punishment from New York City, which involved the four Jokers walking a high wire five stories in the air. On December 23, 2015, Mandel was one of the celebrity stars to attend WWE's tribute to the troops. Deal or No Deal in 2003, while Mandel was deciding whether or not to quit show business, the executive producers at NBC asked him to host the show, but he declined many times. They then mailed him a tape of the overseas version and he finally accepted. In 2007, he hosted a five-episode run of the Canadian-English version. The show then went to daytime with Mandel remaining as host, although Arsenio Hall was originally intended to host the show. In a January 2009 interview on Anytime with Bob Cushell, Mandel expressed mild, jovial frustration over how some of his contestants hold out during the game show, despite the fact that the grand prize is many times what they would make in a year. America's Got Talent 
In January 2010, it was announced that Mandel would replace David Hasselhoff as one of the judges on NBC's America's Got Talent after Hasselhoff announced that he was leaving to work on a new television series. Personal life He met his wife Terry in high school and married her in 1980. They have three children, daughters Jackie and Riley, and son Alex. He also has two adopted nephews, Austin and N. Zach Mandel. On September 4, 2008, Mandel received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, and Comedy Central list him as two on the list of the 100 greatest stand-up comedians of all time. Mandel received a star on Canada's Walk of Fame in Toronto. The induction ceremony was held on September 12, 2009. He is the third game show host to be inducted. In October 2008, Mandel revealed that he has attention deficit hyperactivity disorder on the morning talk show Live with Regis and Kelly, adding that he is currently working to raise adult ADHD awareness among the general public. On January 12, 2009, Mandel was reportedly sent to St. Michael's Hospital in Toronto suffering from chest pains and what was reported as a minor heart attack. According to various news reports, he was experiencing an irregular heartbeat, but the reports were later revealed as inaccurate. He was later discharged. Mandel has written and published an in-depth autobiography which details his life with OCD, ADHD, and comedy called Here's the Deal, Don't Touch Me. Mandel is a fan of the Toronto Maple Leafs hockey team. Mandel is colorblind. Obsessive Compulsive Disorder Mandel has spoken publicly about having obsessive compulsive disorder which can take many forms, including fear of contamination. Mandel's anxiety affects him, to the point that he does not shake hands with anyone, including enthusiastic contestants on Deal or No Deal unless he is wearing latex gloves. Instead of shaking contestants' hands, when they offer them, Mandel often opts to exchange fist bumps put his hands on contestants' shoulders, or give an occasional hug. He once kissed a female contestant on the show for good luck despite his disorder. He now takes medicine to control his condition and even pokes fun at himself for it. He revealed on The Howard Stern Show on March 24, 2006, that his shaved head is not related to natural hair loss, but to OCD. He stated that the lack of hair makes him feel cleaner. In the backyard of Mandel's house is a second, smaller house which he had built especially to live in solitude when a family member is sick. During his appearance on Mad TV, Mandel and cast member Bobby Lee made fun of the former's condition. In September 2007, Mandel interviewed former NFL running back Marshall Falk on NFL Network forecast him to shake hands, but Mandel declined, noting it rather have the fist tap, as he does with deal or no deal contestants. Seconds later, Forks subjected him to a sneak attack and shook his right hand. Mandel screamed and walked away from Fork. He then washed his hands several times on a guest appearance on free radio. Mandel explained that not only is he afraid of public bathrooms, but is unable to use any bathroom other than his own. During the season 5 episode of America's Got Talent in Chicago, Zach Carty attempted an act involving sneezing. Mandel pressed his X button at the beginning of the act and ran into an aisle until the act was over. Mandel kept yelling at the other judges, Piers Morgan and Sharon Osbourne to press their X buttons and for the audience to turn in his direction. Morgan eventually pressed the X button, but Osbourne refused, so Mandel promptly ran over and pressed her button, ending the act. 
In a backstage interview, he expressed to the television audience that he receives therapy to help him cope. In another America's Got Talent season 5 incident, Dan Sperry, a contestant on the YouTube quarterfinal episode, dropped some dental floss that he had run through his neck as part of a magic act. He dropped the floss in Mandel's vicinity, prompting him to get up and run to the other side of the judges' table. Just before Sperry's next performance in the semi-finals, Mandel admitted that it was the most horrified it had been on the show, and that his therapist loves Dan Sperry, because there had been two extra sessions that week. During AGT's 10th season, a contestant named Chris Jones directly utilized Mandel's mysophobia as the subject of his hypnotism act. Under the post-hypnotic suggestion that Jones and the other judges were wearing latex gloves, Mandel shook the bare hands of all involved, which elicited shouts of amazement and drew much attention on the internet. After viewing the video of the act, Mandel said that he was upset about it and somewhat betrayed by the act but that his therapist subsequently said it was a good thing. Chris Jones progressed to the judges' cuts where he was eliminated from the competition. Mandel commented in 2011 that he has struggled with the condition since childhood but did not seek help until he was an adult. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.